there may be life in the closest star system to Earth. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets orbiting other stars, the search for life elsewhere has entered an exciting new phase. So far, most of these worlds have been found many light years away. But what about closer stars? Including, of course, Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our Sun, only just over four light years away. Is there actually life on the closest star system to Earth? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about the possibility of life on the nearest exoplanets in our solar system. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Will humans ever find themselves at home at Alpha Centauri? With life on Earth facing increasing challenges as humans battle against massive problems like climate change and its ever-worsening consequences, people often wonder if humanity could possibly live on another planet. In the show Lost in Space, which got a 2018 revival on Netflix after its original iteration in the 1960s, the space family Robinson pursues doing exactly that. The show sees the family journeying to a planet in Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our own. But what might it actually be like for humans to not only travel to our nearby stellar neighborhood, but actually live there? And is Alpha Centauri habitable? Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to Earth, is just four light years away. However, while the star system is remarkably close by cosmic standards, four light years is actually quite far away. And according to some estimates, it would take roughly 6,300 years to get there with existing technology. So before even diving into the specifics of the system or its planets, no, humans cannot yet go to Alpha Centauri and live there, because simply put, we wouldn't survive the trip. The Alpha Centauri system actually has three stars. Two of these stars are like our Sun, and the third is a red dwarf named Proxima Centauri, which has at least two planets orbiting around it. One of which, a planet called Proxima b, scientists think could be an Earth-sized planet that lies in the star's habitable zone. Scientists think there could possibly be life at Alpha Centauri and Proxima b is currently thought to be the most likely habitable world in the system with its Earth-like size and distance from its star. However, research has shown that it might not support an Earth-like atmosphere, and researchers are still working to understand more about the planet to assess its habitability more thoroughly. While it's not thought that anything like human life exists in the system, researchers recently unveiled a new space telescope mission called Ptoleman to explore this stellar system further and answer some questions about its planets. Most importantly, scientists hope to use the new scope to investigate whether these far-off worlds might indeed harbor life. Our nearest stellar neighbors, the Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri systems, are turning out to be extraordinarily interesting, Pete Warden, executive director of the Breakthrough Initiatives, said in a statement. The Ptoleman mission will be a huge step forward finding out if planets capable of supporting life exist there. The mission will focus on the habitable zone around the system's three stars, a region of space in the star's vicinity where liquid water could exist. These nearby planets are where humanity will take our first steps into interstellar space using high-speed futuristic robotic probes. Pete Kluper, chief engineer of Breakthrough Watch, a branch of Breakthrough Initiatives, said in the statement, if we consider the nearest few dozen stars, we expect a handful of rocky planets like Earth orbiting at the right distance for liquid surface water to be possible. Adding to this, the team, which also includes experts from Australian space tech firm Sabre Astronautics, began working on the mission in April this year. According to the statement, the mission received $788,000 from the Australian government and is expected to be ready for science in the mid-2020s. So what are the possibilities of life on Alpha Centauri as shown in the show Lost in Space? Lost in Space showrunner Zach Estrin has said that the show takes into account some real-life knowledge about the Alpha Centauri star system to balance reality and fiction in the show. One such detail is its distance from Earth. 
If we wanted the characters to actually go there in what we currently have technology-wise, they really wouldn't be alive by the time they got there," Estrin stated. He added that this was one reason why the show decided to introduce alien technology, because it would theoretically allow the characters to travel so far, so fast, without having to fake human technology. Now, despite the existing obstacles that would make it virtually impossible for humans to not only travel to Alpha Centauri, Estrin noted that one of the really cool things has been how the news has been, in a way, parallel in our journey. It seems like every couple of months there is the discovery of a new possible habitable world, he added. But does it make sense for humans to even consider life on another planet like this? One of the reasons why the show has always been something that hooks into people, even back in the 60s and today, is that wish fulfillment that if we screw up Earth, that maybe there's a hope for humanity, Estrin said. However, he noted that part of me thinks that's damaging because it gives us an out for screwing up the planet. The hope for a place like Alpha Centauri is that you will be able to, in essence, recreate what we currently have here, which is, you know, the ability to go outside, go swimming in oceans or lakes, or climb trees, Estrin says. But this is very different, I think, than the experience you would have, he said. If you were to settle Mars, say, where the environment is not as friendly, you'd be inside of a big dome, Estrin said. And everything would be more genetically modified. And I think our hope for what a better future would be one where we actually could exist in a more Earth-like world, where you could be outside, where you wouldn't have to be indoors all the time. So, a couple of decades before these discoveries, scientists had thought there was too much X-ray radiation from the stars in the system for life on any planets to be likely. But now, as announced by NASA, there is new evidence from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory that perhaps conditions could be more life-friendly than previously assumed. In terms of the radiation, the prospects for life are actually better for habitable zone planets around Alpha Centauri A than our own Sun with lower doses of X-rays than similar planets in our solar system, and only slightly worse around Alpha Centauri b, by a factor of 5 according to NASA. This is very good news for Alpha Cen a b in terms of the ability of possible life on any of their planets to survive radiation bouts from the stars. Chandra shows us that life should have a fighting chance on planets around either of these stars. However, it is not known yet if there are any rocky planets orbiting Alpha Centauri A or B, but if so, there is an increased chance of habitable conditions, although other factors come into play as well, such as temperature, liquid water or lack of it, composition of any atmosphere, etc. One problem with searching for planets there is that both stars are bright and currently closer together because of their orbits, making detection more difficult. For Proxima b, however, the situation is different. It receives an average dose of X-rays about 500 times greater than Earth, and up to 50,000 times stronger during a large solar flare. Not exactly ideal conditions for life. So, with many exoplanets being discovered now, it is natural, of course, to wonder about the star system closest to us. Could life exist there? For the one planet known to exist there so far, the results are not encouraging. But if there are others, and most planetary systems appear to have more than one planet, then the odds are a bit more in life's favor. We won't know for sure until we find additional planets in the Alpha Centauri system. But even if we don't, many other worlds are being discovered on a regular basis now, and a growing number appear to have conditions at least suitable for habitability, if not life itself. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.